All right, here's a look at five things you want to get your day started. Police say the death of a mother and her two children at an apartment in Mechanic Falls was likely a murder suicide. The Mechanic Falls Police Department says officers went to check on a U-Haul truck that had been rented but not returned. This was last Saturday. They found Jennifer Barney dead inside the apartment. Her death was ruled a suicide. Two children, seven year old Hope West and 11 year old Harmony West, also found dead inside. Their deaths were ruled as homicides. Wall Street Journal reporter and Bowdoin College graduate Evan Gerskovich is back on American soil. Gerskovich arrived back in the United States early this morning alongside former Marine Paul Whelan and Radio Free Europe journalist Alsu Kermasheva, who were also held in Russia. Gerskovich is one of 24 people from seven countries involved in the prisoner swap with Russia. Police in Biddeford looking for some help, trying to find this man. He's been missing for almost a day now. 78-year-old John Flannery, last seen 1130 yesterday morning. He was at an appointment on Elm Street. He does drive a green Subaru Outback Massachusetts license plate. You see the plate number on your screen. If you see him, maybe you see the car. You're asked to please contact the Biddeford Police Department. And he's the first one to cross the finish line at the TD Beach to Beacon Race in Cape Elizabeth. There's going to be all kinds of fun happening this weekend. But hey, a heads up, if you live in the Cape Elizabeth area, roads will be closed Saturday morning for the race. So be sure to check in with the Cape Elizabeth Police Department to make sure you know all that information. There will be some events today, like a kids fun run happening at, at four, followed by the Beacon Walk, Run and Roll event. And then the high school one mile race will happen at six o'clock. Now, Preble Street Teen Services is is the beneficiary of this year's race. Officials with Preble Street will be at the race to take donations and help Mainers know more about all the services it provides. Nice little pep in your step, Sam. We're talking about another team now from Portland that has a chance to make it to the Little League World Series. The team recently won the state championship and is headed to Connecticut for the New England Regional. You might remember the team from Grey New Gloucester last or won that tournament last year to get to the Little League World Series. There will be a send off for this team from Portland at nine o'clock this morning. Very exciting. Uh, athletic trainers have just arrived. Sam's going to be OK. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> For your day today, it's going to be hot and humid out there. High temperatures feeling like the mid to upper 90s. And with that, limit outdoor activities like um, running or whatever <laughs> yeah. that was. Just a light whatever little jog. Yeah. yeah, a light little jog. And then uh, some showers arriving this weekend into yeah. Monday. Cooling off middle of the week for Tuesday. That's yes. when it'll start. Cooling off in low humidity at that point. So just in time for your vacation, Lee. Great. Love it all. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Thanks, Aaron. Have a great day, everybody.